Welcome back to the Road to Insane Final Boss. Just got 90 fishing. This unlocks quite a few things that are going to be uh, coming in handy. You can use rock tail bubbles in the Garage Dungeon, and I unlock the Whaler Adventure at Player Run Ports, which uh, is going to get me some plate in their story missions and their normal missions. So that's going to be really handy. But yeah, it's kind of what I was here for, but I also want one more level 91 fishing so I can boost the five levels to complete a couple elite tasks. So I'll probably stay here for just one more level. Probably going to stop recording every single Araxor loot because it's been like three episodes and 150 kills. So eh, enough is enough. But anyway, just going to start off today's Araxor stuff with this drop, which is terrible. But hopefully we get a good drop that I can record and react to. Well, that's about 10 kills for today. I think I'll call it there and come back uh, tomorrow for hopefully getting something good. Didn't get anything good today, of course. But uh, yeah, if I did, I would, of course, record that um, <laughs> loot and, and show that. So, I don't know. Ah, Catherby is so different. I don't like change. Nah, this place is pretty, but uh, I'm running a bit low on overload, so I'm going to go ahead and make... I guess more should be pretty easy to boost the four levels to 96 if I don't level from uh, making all these uh, super and extremes potions. So let's see how much Herblore XP I can get. Oh sweet, it was just doing one dungeon for my uh, daily challenge for dungeoneering and got Sagittarian Arrows in that first try. It's awesome. I've been looking for these. Well, I wanted these because I've had these Gorgonite Arrows still bound from when I was like less than 90 ranged. I already had a Sagittarian shortbow bound, but I couldn't find two different ammo, so this is really nice to get. Oh snap, I just uh, got a pair of black ibis boots. Oh, not the boots. That's literally the be the um, the only one that doesn't like stack with the exoskeleton set. So it's the worst one that I could have gotten, but that's still a piece of the set, which is pretty nice. I'm just here for a daily challenge. Well, I guess I'll probably stay until cash time, then come back to for uh, 80, but... And that's cool, Black Ibis piece. And there's 80 Thieving, which I don't think unlocks anything great, does it? Uh, yeah, nothing really, but uh, one more level until I can go into the next room in Pyramid Plunder, which should make my XP rate skyrocket. And uh, yeah, then it's just 10 more levels after that for the 91 I need for the Elite Desert Tasks. So still going to be a while here. Probably just going to work on this on and off throughout the, the uh, next week or so, so... Yeah, it's a fast kill, but it still takes forever. Oh, snap! Yes, I got it! The Pharaoh Scepter! Alright, so that didn't take too long at all. I was at uh, 80, so that's cool. It's a really nice convenience item to have, so I can teleport here uh, whenever, so I don't have to actually run through or fly through the desert every time I want to go Pyramid Plunder. But yes, I've been wanting this for a long time. Alright, 91 fishing, so I'm pretty much done with fishing until I want to go for 99, I guess. But, yeah, yeah, I also did a couple BM kills. One of them, like, I died to an air at melee, stupid, like, got two hit right off the bat. No warning, it was just ridiculous. But, um, yeah, I didn't get loot for that kill, but whatever, I still got one looted kill, so that's fine. Time to open 514 prawn balls. And final loot is 223 baron sharks and a bunch of other useless stuff. Just got back from another trip of rots, and yeah, this time it was about like an hour, an hour and a half, and I knew a lot more of what I was doing this time, so definitely got more kills in there. I think I'm at like 72 energies, so that's pretty cool. I went with uh, these guys in the FC, so that's cool. But uh, yeah, it's time for Raxor, so hopefully I get <laughs> a leg piece today. Alright, I died at Araxor on that stupid 200% enraged kill because I clicked away, but apparently this game can't respond fast enough to make use of its own mechanics, so Araxia cleaved me and hit a 10k. So that's probably enough Araxor for today, and I'll just uh, come back tomorrow and uh, kill some more poorly designed bosses. Yeah, RuneScape. Ooh, got 93 Herblore while doing the uh, broken home thing for the Asylum Surgeon's Ring, just using these lamps that I unlock by opening the temporal chests. Alright, that should have completed the speed challenge and all that stuff, I think, so I should be able to claim my surgeon's ring from what's the face in front of the mansion. Let's see. What? She's not giving me the the ring. Did I miss something? Did, did I not do one of the challenges? What's going on? 
Oh, come on, I used two mystery meats. I didn't know that was a challenge. Why is that a challenge? That's stupid. Ugh, great. Now I have to come back next week, or can I do it this week? I don't care, I'll just come back next week because then I get the reward as well, right? Ugh, that's stupid. It should tell you the challenge is, like, somewhere more obvious. That's really annoying. I was bored, so I got, uh, 81 to 90 Hunter, Crystallizing Grenwalls. So yeah, this is a really friggin' fast skill, and uh, just kind of did this in a day. <laughs> so now I should unlock that Ports Adventurer, which should be nice, I guess. I'm not sure what else I kind of wanted to do Hunter for, but just felt like a nice easy skill to get up from the 80s. That I don't like seeing 80 skills, and even ugh, 77 skills in my skill a tab still. Like, ugh, man, I'm trying to get maxed here. What am, what am I doing with level 77 runecrafting? Come on. Daily Rexy time, first loot, let's go, oh nope, oh well. Alright, so let's do like 10 kills today and see if we get anything. Okay, that's the last kill for today, and we get nothing. So another day dry, of course, and uh, let's get out of here and go back to skilling, I guess. How can you die with battles of monkey out? They had another full raid, and this time I could actually loot Beastmaster uh, as well as Yakamaru, so that's pretty nice. It was, I think it was like the same team as last time, taking me in the full raid, and yeah, I got lots of food from the Yakamaru kill. Uh, still no acto though. And 83 woodcutting, just wanted to get this out of the way real quick so I can ch chop curly roots, because I wanted to get 92 fire making, because I wanted the inferno adds, because I wanted to complete the Varok task set. Cause blah 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 blah, yeah yeah yeah, just skilling goals. Daily Raxi time! Alright, can't wait to continue this dry streak. Gotten a pheromone on the first kill, great, so I can do 10 more kills today. Yay. Yes! Wow, holy crap, a pheromone and a spider leg top in the same drop. That is 2 out of 3 for the staff, and I can't get the bottom piece until next rotation. So I'm going to save both those pheromones for the next rotation, just like last time actually too, huh? It's pretty interesting, but anyway, I am happy about that. Another spider leg top, and that's two out of three for the staff, we're almost there again. Ooh, that's awesome, and the same drop as a pheromone, like still, that's, that's pretty darn lucky, jeez. Alright, well, today was a good day, I guess. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> okay, well, I just got my first pet. Holy crap, that was totally unexpected. I was just doing a farm run first thing in the morning. I just got up and I just got brains, the friggin' farming pet. Oh, it's adorable. Oh, finally, I can have a pet override for my familiars. Been waiting for so long for that, but wow, holy crap, that is just so random. At 88 farming, which I just got during this farm run too, which is pretty cool. But, wow, I just got my first pet on the account. Okay. So this is brains, I guess. Um, pretty cute. 4.4 million farming XP, so that's probably pretty lucky considering the drop rate goes up. I mean, it, it uh, gets more common the higher your level is and higher XP is and stuff. But uh, yeah, finally I can like override my pack yak so it's not this giant click box that screws me over at Araxor when I'm trying to run away from the cleave. That uh, did happen <laughs> one time and uh, with this guy, it should be a lot harder for that to happen. Oh yeah, and after that incident, I also learned to uh, turn off familiar options, so I guess it wouldn't happen anyway anymore. But, uh, yeah, whatever. Went on another full raid with the same team. I got a ma I got a ability co codex on the Beastmaster kill, which is awesome. It's my second codex, so I can go ahead and unlock that Onslaught ability, which should help out at a few situations. It's not the most useful ability in the world, but it's definitely an interesting one to have. And then the Yakamaru loot gave me nothing. And there we go. Finally got to 500 boss kills at the Dominion Tower. Ugh, oh, that takes forever. I just, I hate the Dominion Tower so much. All these bosses, like, well, a lot of them have just terrible, terrible mechanics that are just not fun at all. And the handicaps are just kind of annoying. They don't really add anything and they, some of them even conflict with the boss mechanics so like they stun you when you're supposed to move in the boss fight and they get screwed over and I could rant for days about this stupid place but anyway I am pretty much done here I think I need to get like a massive bomb in like the chest and use it once to unlock one of the last things or the last thing until I have all the achievements which I will need to do to do uh, for 
elite desert tasks. So just gonna do a few more boss kills and then leave this place hopefully forever. And there we go. Use the massive bomb inside the uh, endurance mode or whatever, and so that should be it. That's all the achievements done for the Dominion Tower. And I'm probably gonna have to come back here a couple times just to get some kills for more gloves and dreadnips if I ever run out. But that is the Dominion Marker Stage 4 and dreadnips and all that good stuff from the Dominion Tower obtained. Done here, finally, and now my raids team isn't gonna be so mad at me when I don't have uh, dreadnips or... Um, uh, swift gloves and all that good stuff, but anyway, great. Reset time, so it's 2-3 rotation at Araxor, and got two pheromones to use, and I'm just down to the spider leg bottom to be able to use uh, my eye and finally make that staff, and hopefully by doing these like 30 kills or whatever at Araxi today, I might even get myself a fang. We'll have to see how lucky I am, but uh, yeah, hopefully we get something good. Oh snap! There it is! Oh man, that was a terrible kill. I don't even have any food left in the yak, no, but wow, that's just so awesome. Yes, I've never, I don't have to take the bottom path like this rotation anymore because, oh god, I hate taking the bottom path on high and rage kills. It's just, just, oh, so awful. And, oh, there it is! I just finished Noxious Staff. Wow. My second leg, Noxious Staff, I guess. Um, <laughs> Would have preferred making it a scythe, but you know, can't expect a fang too soon, right? It's fine. I am very happy to get the staff anyway, because actually that's going to be really nice to do Vindicta with, which I've had a Reaper assignment uh, just, you know, on Vindicta for the longest time, just not bothering with it because I don't like using the bow on Vindicta. It seems like it does less good than Mage with the staff and stuff, but that's really awesome. I, I got two Noxious weapons out of the three now, and uh, yeah, it's just the scythe left, which I need the hilt and all three leg pieces for. But let's not think about that right now. Let's just make this staff and be very happy about uh, another awesome Rax accomplishment for the account. Two T90s. Mage. All right. It's pretty nice. Is the staff better than the bow at, like, Virago? Or I don't know. Like, I'm not entirely sure on that, but... I think it's better, right? Yes, create Noxious Staff. There it is, T90 Mage Weapon. All right, that is really nice to have. And I guess I'll keep go doing a Raxor. Oh, and if you were wondering, I uh, got that Nox Staff on my 205th kill count kill, I guess. So just in case you were wondering, that's 104 kill count for the bow and 205 kill count for the staff. Ooh, just discovered the Terracotta mission as I uh, checked my four voyages that were out and completed the story mission, I guess. But there we go, second to the last region unlocked. And if I remember correctly, this is like the worst region. It really takes forever, and it's like the last region where you're just waiting to unlock the last re region, basically. And because of that, I saved, like, how many resource packs from that uh, event? Three resource packs? So I can get a ton of uh, terracotta just to boost my progress into this region. Should help out a lot just to get me some starting stuff for the uh, new terracotta region. So yeah, it's free like 9k terracotta in total. It's going to be just a nice jump start into the region. Whoa, there it is, the Dragon Rider Lance at the end of the Reaper assignment. Yes! Wow, that is... what? <laughs> I, I did not think I, I got that message because I was looking at the Reaper assignment complete message and like someone else on this world, friggin' Finderp, who's also an Iron Man, got another dra Dragon Rider Lance and also like way up here, he also got the friggin' Imbued Blade Slice. So pretty lucky day at Vindicta for a couple Iron Men, am I right? Sweet, that's awesome. That's actually really nice to get for the Twin Furies. And uh, yeah, since I'm not gonna get the Scythe for a while, probably, it's uh, gonna be the, my best melee weapon for a long time, so awesome. Man, the first time I come with a Noxious Staff, I get my freaking Dragon Rider Lance, it's so nice. I got the Lance on my 167th kill, by the way, so I'm not sure if that's lucky or not. I only have the 75% drop increase, so uh, yeah, it's probably pretty lucky, I, I assume. Finished killing Vindicta in that instance, didn't get anything else, but uh, yeah, I could stay the whole hour. 
And wow, just got a Dragon Rider Lance. Just still just can't believe that T-85 melee weapon with the range of the scythe or the, like, the two space range or whatever. And it's got the accuracy of T-90 with the damage of T-80. So that's going to be really nice for a lot of things, uh, particularly the Twin Furies and possibly melee Araxor if I ever want to do that, but I don't think I really want to do that because I save supplies with doing a range and it's what I'm used to anyway. So probably just going to hang on till I have a scythe to do melee Rax kills. But anyway, got Noxious Staff this episode and like another Codex so I can get Onslaught. Just what a crazy episode. Got super lucky. It got, even got a skilling pet. Kind of crazy this freaking episode. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, see you next time when I'm, I'll am i be working on fire making, trying to get finish this 92 off, which shouldn't take long at all, honestly. But uh, yeah, I'll be finishing also these uh, 20 more Raxor kills. I didn't even reset the Enrage today uh, at all. I will, though, in, uh, in the morning because I'm way too tired to do a Raxor right now. But I'm going to use up these two Pheromones and keep doing a Raxor until I guess I'm done with my no Nox set and all six pets or whatever, however many pets there are. So yeah, still lots of Araxor to do, but made really awesome progress this episode. And again, there's a link to a spreadsheet in the description if you want to see all the kill counts of all the bosses I've been doing uh, at any point during... Well, I mean, it's going to be up to date, so it'll be where I'm currently at, not at the end of this episode, but I try to update it uh, after each episode goes live. So yeah, keep a lookout for that, and thanks for watching, and see you next time. Through the willows, our words when comes easy.